Did you know? Michael Clark Rockefeller, 1938-1961, was the son of a governor of New York and future vice president of the United States of America Nelson Rockefeller. Michael was also a grand-grandson of John D. Rockefeller, one of the wealthiest men of all time. He was super wealthy, well-educated, and had a bright future in front of him. However, before young Michael would run for a prestigious political office or expand the family wealth, he went on an adventure. In spring 1961, Michael visited New Guinea and explored the jungle. He befriended the native Asmat tribes and took lots of photographs. He wanted to publish his photos as a book. The Asmat people live in southwestern New Guinea. Their entire population is around 70,000 people. They live in small villages along rivers near the seaside. Headhunting and cannibalism were the key parts of the Asmat culture well into the 1990s. The Asmat people believed that each death needed to be avenged by headhunting. Even if a person died from a disease, Michael returned to New Guinea in November 1961 to collect tribal art for his father's museum in New York. Together with Dutch anthropologist René Wassing, Michael traveled between the villages in a self-built catamaran. On November 17, 1961, the high waves caused the boat to capsize. Michael's two local guides swam to shore to find help. After two days of waiting, on November 19, the boat was already deep in the open sea. Consequently, Michael decided to swim to the beach to find help. Michael's colleague, René Wassing, was rescued the next day, but Michael disappeared without a trace. His family immediately organized an extensive search. The different theories about the cause of Michael's death soon surfaced. Some said that sharks ate Michael, and some claimed he drowned. One of the most probable theories stated that the Asmat cannibals ate the young heir. In 1958, the Dutch governor of West Guinea, Max Lapper, killed five members of the Asmat tribe. He hoped such repressive measures would stop the practice of headhunting. However, the Asmat tribesmen promised revenge on the white tribe. They waited for the opportunity to strike back. On November 19, 1961, they noticed Michael swimming to the shore. He swam for 19 kilometers, 12 miles, and he was exhausted. They pulled Michael ashore and killed him with spears. They cut off his head, cooked it, and ate his brain. They removed his entrails. His legs and arms were thrown onto the fire and then shared as a meal with everyone present. His bones were used to make daggers, fishing spears, and religious icons.